What is going on dudes and welcome to what I think is my first ever Black Ops objective gameplay upload. Domination on Cracked, where I start off this clip with our team losing and a not so amazing score of 7-9, and nine, but finish off with our team winning and a final score of 59-13. and 13. So I go on a 52-4 and four run just in around 6 minutes. So I thought it was definitely post-worthy despite the fact that uh, the scoreboard at the end doesn't look all that out of the ordinary. Anyway, I thought it would actually be a good opportunity to discuss how I actually play the game because as you may well know, I don't usually talk about Call of Duty in my Call of Duty videos. <laughs> For some reason, people just seem to think killing people is an enjoyable background to uh, random tangents. But I thought it would be fun to, I don't know, sort of discuss my play style for a, a bit of a change. So I, I, have, a, I have an extremely short attention span. Um, <laughs> that is something you may come to learn about me or you may already know about me. But oftentimes I, I can't even be bothered to play the game normally and that's I'll go into team deathmatch solo or I'll go into usually free for all because that way I'm not interrupting anyone else's fun. But I'll just go and snipe and do totally ridiculous things and just, just because I get really bored very easily and playing with, I don't know, the AK-74, the Galil, the FMOS, whatever the good guns are to use, the assault rifles and the, uh, the top-notch SMGs, it's just, for some reason, I feel that if I try really hard, and I don't mean to sound arrogant at all, and I apologize if that's how I come across, but it feels too easy mode for me. And, I mean, even if I'm not putting down amazing scores, as I don't usually do, um, I just, I get bored very, very easily, and I don't know if that's because I've played this game for such a long time, going on three years now, or if it's just because I have a short attention span as a person. It's probably the latter of the two, but <laughs> for that reason, I just, I enjoy messing around much more so than just trying my ass off to get the best score ever, which can make it a bit difficult for me to get these outrageous scores, which is why oftentimes my gameplays don't have amazing like 50 and 0 that some other people um, are able to achieve which I mean no disrespect to them I I don't even think I could achieve those scores honestly if I tried my hardest but I don't know every so often you get into one of those magic lobbies with the uh, the good old Christmas noobs quote unquote I hate calling people that but I don't know that tends to be the term everyone uses so I use it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, when you get into those lobbies, you can put down good scores, but for the most part, I I mess around. I will try to do 360s off of things, provided that it's not going to make our team lose. When that happens, I will generally switch around to another class, like the one I'm using. For instance, when I start off to, with a terrible score, like 7 and 9, uh, I will usually switch over, especially when our team is losing, because I don't like it when other people's fun is impacted by my own play style but um for instance when i'm playing solo in a free-for-all match i will oftentimes snipe i don't even care if i lose it's just for fun and that way i am i don't get bored um and for the most part when i rush out um when i could for the most part stay back and get a better score it's because i find it's more enjoyable and i think sacrificing uh, 10 kill to death ratio for maybe a three um to to just have a better time playing is definitely worth the while. And also when I post a gameplay of me running and not really stopping all that much, it tends to be a bit more enjoyable for the viewer. Although, I don't know, people who are into numbers as opposed to the actual visuals may think otherwise, but again, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone's entitled to think whatever they would like to think. Um, that's, that's actually the beauty of the free world. <laughs> but uh, if I were to give anyone tips on how to... Uh, get good scores and improve at this game, I would say, as a matter of fact, don't play like I do. If you have ever gone into my recent games, which, in fact, I don't encourage uh, totally creeping on people's uh, <laughs> file shares and recent games, but if you must, um, and if you've watched any of mine, most of the time, it's it's really bad. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, if I, if I really go for a good game, I can do it. It's just... I find it utterly boring because it's it's the same monotonous routine like stay back be a bit more reserved use one of the better guns yada yada, yada. <laughs> and um i find it i find it as i just said a bit too monotonous and i get really bored and even if i at the beginning of the game i make a resolution that i must 
I must have that sort of play style for the entire game. Usually midway through, I'll just be like, I can't do this anymore. I am, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. And then I will break my whole, um, be reserved and I will rush out and die a bunch. And I'll just have a lot more fun doing it because although I may rage for the most part, I'll laugh more than I yell. I mean, everyone faces the bullshit from time to time, but uh, hopefully you can find a way to make the most out of it. I don't know. So, yeah, be more reserved than I always am. If you want to be successful at this game, do not, do not take it from me. <laughs> I'm sure I'm the only one to have ever said this before, but generally I don't play in the most smart manner. So if you're going to watch my theater mode games, don't imitate my playstyle, because you probably won't be all that successful. <laughs> I think my kill to death is only around 1.8 or so, and if I really tried my hardest every game, I could probably bring it over two, but I have no interest in doing such a thing. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this sort of change of pace of talking about gameplay for once. Anyway, if you have, I do want to encourage you to take a second to leave a like rating. It's very helpful and helps me out a whole bunch, uh, and increases penis length. Anyway, that's that's a side effect of it, necessary evil. <laughs> but on that note, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. It's been a pleasure, as always, and on that note, I will talk to you guys all next time.